just finished ACL surgery. Um, did a little meniscus cleaning too. Um, getting back consciousness. I think the surgery was at like 10 o'clock. Uh, it's now 1 o'clock. Um, so I'm going to get feeling back in the foot. This left foot seems fine. I'm gonna wiggle it. Um, it was a little oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that wiggle. Can you do the wiggle? I'm doing the wiggle. It was fine when I woke up. Uh, this one is starting to get back there. You can feel sensation here. I think they put in a nerve blocker, something like that. I was out pretty soon after. Um, yeah, no pain really. It just feels cold, my leg. Um, they took from my hamstring a piece and made that ACL. And then just trimmed some of that MCL, and that was about it. So, we'll see how it goes. So, it's been about an hour since I woke up. So I just wanted to share quickly what happened when I got in here. I got in at 7.20 a.m. for a 9.20 surgery. We didn't actually have surgery until 10. Uh, first thing they did when I got here, they shaved my leg. Talk and slower. Talk slower. And then they inserted this IV. And that was pretty much it. Shaved leg, inserted the IV, and then they soaked down the leg. Uh, and then they fitted me for the brace. Usually that's done beforehand, but uh, the immobilizer brace. But that's all they did. And then after around like 9 to 30, 10 o'clock, they wheeled me into the operating room and then they injected, I guess, something into here that put me to sleep because I don't remember what happened after that. Um, yep, that was about it. And now I'm starting to get full feeling in my leg. An hour after I woke up, I can move this, move this toe a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I wasn't getting your legs too much. Let me get your legs. I'm just gonna let it rest. Make sure you feel okay, okay? You know when you break some on. Okay, he's, he's about on to the, he's, he's on about to go. He's about to catch the frisbee right there. He's going for it. Good job. It's like first. So you don't get many superheroes in here, do you? No. So backed into the car. I'm doing this slow. Okay. Yeah, backing it was definitely better to get into this car. Like straight, probably gonna stack another pillow here. The elevator, got the crutches in the trunk. And we're good to go, out of New York City. Thank God. Yeah, anyway, I am feeling, you know, uh, I can feel here. I feel like there's no numbness here, over here. Um, I'm not sure, because there's a lot of padding, but here there's no numbness. So I think I'm okay. Um, no real pain at all. But there could still be those nerve blockers that are reducing the pain, but doing good so far. Okay, so we just got home. Um, they said I could put some weight on the leg since they didn't have to stitch up the meniscus. They just had to um, shave it. So I could put weight, but I'm just kind of hopping around on my crutches. He's hoppity. Hopping around, woo! Oh, he's not used to him either, be careful. seems to be okay. I changed the shorts. Um, so this brace is immobilized, straight leg. He ripped up the other shorts that the hospital gave him. Um, oh yeah, so I have like three medications so far. Meloxicam, which I believe is an anti-inflammatory, makes the swelling go down. Ondansetrin, which is, gets rid of nausea. I don't think I'll take that. And then oxycodone, which is a painkiller. I'm gonna try not to take that at that's, all. That's drugs. Yeah, so I'm just kind of going to try to do um, Advil, I think, or Tylenol, but we'll see. Maybe if the pain, if I feel like the pain coming on, but this is five hours after surgery now, you know, it's 5 p.m., as long as I don't, you know, I'm getting sensation back, and I'm not, like, I have full sensation here, I feel like, and I feel like as long as I don't get pain coming in, uh, I'm not going to take that oxycodone. So from one to ten, what is your pain level now? Right now, I wouldn't say it's like a, a three, a two. Like, honestly, there's no pain. It's just, there's no pain. Good. The only thing I've been feeling is, because I guess they took from my hamstring, and I don't feel I'm sitting here right now, but every, I don't know, getting through the door, I felt a little tweak, changing out my pants, I felt a little tweak in my hamstring here, almost like I was gonna get a cramp or something. Uh, a dehydration cramp on my hamstring. That was the best thing I could compare it to. But anyway, so far, pretty good. Um, feel pretty mobile. It's just, I feel like the most concern I have is that hamstring. That's what I'm feeling right now. 
That's it. Now it's time to eat. And that's a take. Okay, so we're in the bedroom now, on the bed. I uh, got myself propped up. My dad had one of these, you could buy it on Amazon too, or you just use pillows. But uh, it's kind of nice, it's angled. Um, and then my legs raised, and I'm going to attempt to take off these first two uh, things that secure the brace to my leg, uh, so that I can put on this Osir Cold Therapy um, system. You know, wraps around my knee, keeps it cool. Um, to do the swelling management. I bought it off eBay because I wanted to charge 200 bucks for it. I think I got it for 50. So that's that. Let's, let's see if this works. Let's start taking this off. Fill it up to that blue line. Blend Tech picture. Mm -hmm. I have to take more water than I thought. And the rest of it just fill with ice. There's the knee, I'm ready to go. Pick off these two pieces so that I can get better exposure to the ice. Oh, I took a whole bag, huh? Yeah, so much. Okay, that's good. So it's Halloween today. Not trick or treating. Anyway, I'm glad surgery went well. Tricks or treats, not tricks. Yeah, they were talking about possibly doing a whole um, meniscus stitching and repair. Yeah, I think that's good. Just uh, tighten it around, and even um, reinforcing the ALL or the LCL on the side of the knee. But they said it looked good, and I didn't actually have to do that. So just trying to wrap it around now to give it some pressure. So it's time to close this. Okay, we're plugged in. Powering on. It's coming up to the leg. Um, so we got this ice pack, also off Amazon, that we'll be putting on, flexible gel, and just keeping it on there. I guess with that, we're good to go. So where'd you buy that? Ikea. How much? 20 bucks, bamboo, mm -hmm. lap desk. It's pretty convenient. I can just type here or use those legs. Just sit there. So as far as pain goes, still no pain. You know, it's currently 5.43, just about six hours after surgery. No pain. I haven't taken anything. Just drank some green smoothie and an apple and some water. Um, not too much hungrier. Uh, I do have a bottle of Advil there, should I need it? And yeah. And this this cooling thing is starting to feel cool once I slip my finger under I got there. up in the bed for the first time so I can pee. And discovering I still have quite a bit of numbness. You know, like right here, I can almost not feel at all. Like up here, I can't feel this knee. And then right here, there's a little bit of skin. I can feel that almost perfectly fine. Um, but it's all along the top, it seems like. Here I can feel, right here. And again, this is, what time is it now? It's like eight o'clock, so eight hours after surgery. And then underneath the knee, I can feel all of that. Um, but it's really just this top part that I can't feel, almost all the way from the ankle. So I can feel this, I can feel, mm, even some of this ankle I can't feel. Uh, right here I can feel, but underneath here, so from the ankle, like under the ankle, I can feel it. But up here, all the way to the knee, all the way to, yeah, all the way up to pretty much right here on the knee. I Still day one, nine hours after surgery. I'm thinking to take this off so I can put the cooling unit on a little better. And so I want to make sure I put it on in the exact same orientation they installed it. So I'm just going to mark my leg. 
with the Sharpie. Don't know if it's a good idea or not, but that's what I'm doing. I'm not worried, I'm a little concerned, only because there's not so much feeling on the knee yet, so I don't want to disjoint. Okay. So there it is, fully exposed. Yeah, I've been able to move my ankle pretty much since surgery. Okay, so it's time to start moving. Again, this is after I put it on the inside. I don't want to unwrap everything, so as it disconnects, I'm just going to turn it off. And then it has these quick disconnects. I'm going to see how much it leaks out. That's one, and that's two. So not much water, you know, pretty good. And I should be able to walk around like that. Okay. Here we go. Thing closer towards me. There we go. Okay. 